Hey gents, fall winter is the best time of year for menswear. It's the flannels, the cashmeres, the wools, the textures. It is just lovely. And with winter boots, why not keep your feet warm but also stylish? So I went out and asked some of my friends to let me know about their favorite boots and boy did they deliver. I have great boot videos today for you from the minimalist style of Huga, the refined style of He Spoke Style and Gentleman's Gazette, the more practical style of Modest Man, the rugged style of Karmarowski, and everything in between. Today you're gonna to see videos from Koi from Gentleman Within, Baron from Effortless Gent, Teddy the Mensch, Jeff from The Style OG, and Christian from Theo and Harris. I will put timestamps down in the description and I'll pin a comment so you can jump around to your favorite. I'd say you sit back and watch all of them and I'll put links to each of their channels. Please check them out. They're some of my favorite channels doing men's style right now. I'll come back at the end of the video to talk about my boot picks. So for now, sit back, relax, and enjoy all of these great contributors and thank you to all the guys. This is the best Christmas gift I could have asked for. What's up guys, my name is Brock. You're watching The Cavalier. Thank you, John, for having me on the channel today. And I wear my work boots and my Chelsea boots all throughout winter, but I do have one pair of actual winter boots that I can wear in the snow and the ice and the slush, and they're from Sorel. The model is the Cheyenne. They are a seven inch lace duck boot, not unlike the bean boots from L.O. Bean, but these are less common and in my opinion, a little more handsome. The upper is made from waterproof full grain leather and the outsole is a waterproof rubber shell. Seam sealed construction means these boots are 100% waterproof. I've tested this and can confirm they will keep your feet dry. They'll also keep your feet warm down to negative 25 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 32 Celsius. So you don't even have to wear thick wool socks. You could wear thin cotton socks and you'll be fine. Speaking of thick socks, if you do like to wear those thick winter socks, uh, these boots run a little bit small. So if you're in between sizes, might wanna go with the larger size. In terms of styling, I probably wouldn't wear these boots like a full day at a business casual office. They're a little bit bulky and rugged for that, but I definitely wear them for winter hikes, shoveling snow, or just icy commutes to work. Now in a more casual setting, like if you're just going out for drinks with friends and it's snowing outside, you can definitely wear these boots with jeans or chinos. If you have any questions for me, I will be checking the comments. Thanks again, John, for having me on the channel. And until next time, stay stylish. What's up guys, Brian Sakawa here from He Spoke Style. Big thank you to John from The Cavalier for having me on the channel. Now, my favorite boots for winter right now, are these right here. These are the Bostonian and Clark's number 16 cap. They are built on Bostonian's number 16 last, thus the name. Goodyear welted, made in New York with American tan leathers, leather upper, leather lining, leather sole. You can see it has a beautiful brogued cap toe. I love the dark burgundy color here. It makes them very versatile. I have been wearing them a lot recently to dress up dark denim, but they are so nice that they could very easily work as a dress boot with a suit as well. These are a premium product, and as a result, you are going to pay a premium price for them, $500. But you are getting what you pay for. You can really feel that these are extremely well made. They're very comfortable, and they can be resold. So if you do happen to invest in a pair, you know that you are going to have these for a very long time. Hello there, my name is Carl Murawski, and my favorite winter boots are these bad boys right here. This is the Builder Pro by NYX Handmade Boots. Now, these are definitely not something you're gonna see just anywhere. As a matter of fact, if you're used to normal work boots being like a pickup truck, this is like driving a deuce and a half. They are serious, rugged, tough boots. Now these are made of thick eight ounce rough out leather, which is actually a little bit tougher than smooth leather. All it is is just basically leather flipped around. So you're looking at the rough side. One of the reasons these are so great in the winter is the tongue. See the tongue right here doesn't allow anything to get into the boot that you don't want in there. Now these boots aren't just for work. In my opinion, they look great with any kind of heavy fabrics, selvedge denim, stuff like that, a more rugged look. If you want a pair of boots just like these right here, they're gonna set you back about $600. So in the winter when conditions get tough, the first thing that I do is throw it into four wheel drive so I don't slip anywhere. Why not do the exact same thing with your boots? What's up guys? I'm Jeff from over at the Style OG channel where every day I post videos on style, grooming and dating at 4 p.m. Eastern. And I'm very excited to be on the Cavalier today because John does an excellent job through his unboxing and reviews of exposing us to great under the radar brands which ties in greatly for my pick for favorite winter boot this year, this Charlton Honey Vibram work boot from a brand called Sutro out in San Francisco. Sutro is a brand I became aware of a couple months ago when I was looking for a work boot 
that was rugged, but a little bit dressier in its design, a little sleeker, and not as clunky as a traditional work boot. And I think I hit the jackpot with these. Now this is the Charlton model in Honey Vibram, and it retails for 248 bucks. First, I really love the upper. Just a rich, beautiful oil and wax tan leather that's hand finished with a natural vegetable cream. And as you can see, it's nicely triple stitched into a Goodyear welter. Of course, it has a great vibrant sole for traction and stability, so I won't be falling down. Boot that was rugged enough to get some work done and stylish enough when I just wanted to look like I was doing some work. So I know I'm gonna be reaching for it over and over this winter. Once again, thanks, John, for having me on the Cavalier today. And guys, until the next time, salute. I live in Minneapolis where it gets very cold in the winter, so my favorite winter boots are all fur lined. I have currently three pairs. One of them is from Shoe Passion with a rabbit lining. What I don't like about them is that when I walk in them, my socks sometimes slide down or pretty much every time if I walk for a longer time. The second pair is from Ellen Edmonds. They are kind of scotch grain. They also have fur lining, but they don't have it at the bottom sole, which is kind of stupid. And also my socks come down and they squeak, which I don't like. And my favorite pair is a vintage pair from Moreland's in England. It's sheepskin lined. It's not too tall on the ankle. It doesn't pull down my socks. And I still wear it a lot, even though I had it for eight years. What's up, fellas? I'm Baron. I run a website and YouTube channel called Effortless Gent. And my winter boot of choice may be a little bit unexpected, a little bit out there, but here it is. This is the Nike Lunar Force One duck boot in a linen colorway. So there are a few specific things I really love about this boot. One, it's really warm and really comfortable. The lunar sole is super cushy, lightweight, and it's a nice wide width. So if your foot tends to be on the wider side, you're gonna really love this boot. Number two, I just really like the look. The upper is made from a leather and nylon weather resistant material. Uh, when you are lacing up, you'll notice that there are D-rings for the laces. So you're lacing them up like real boots and the toe box has like this funky diamond textured sort of pattern on it. The outsole itself is also really rugged, it's grippy, there's a lot of traction, especially if you're walking on icy or slippery surfaces. And I just love the overall sort of rugged look. Number three, I really like the linen or taupe colorway. I feel like it goes really well with a lot of the clothes that I wear, especially in the winter time when I want those heavier textures and darker colors. I feel like a light linen or taupe or tan color looks really great great in contrast with these darker colors. Now I know this isn't an obvious choice. If you watch any of my videos, I talk a lot about a lean wardrobe and this honestly isn't exactly um, a very versatile piece, but sometimes you just want something that stands out in your wardrobe. And for me, for wintertime, this is the boot that I'm looking forward to wearing the most. All right, fellas, that's all I got for you. John, thank you so much for having me in this roundup. And fellas, if you wanna hear more from me, please make sure to check out my channel, Effortless Gents. What's up, gents? John, thank you for having me on the channel. I am Christian from Theo and Harris. And while I have made a YouTube channel, retail store, and a career out of vintage watches and my insatiable passion for them, I also have an incredible interest in clothing, specifically shoes. So for me, this question was easy. I have quite a few pairs of boots. Some of them I absolutely love, but the Dalton boot in Color 8 Shell Cordovan by Alan Edmonds is my favorite winter, fall, whatever boot. They were extremely comfortable from like day three. And I can't say the same thing for some of the other Cordovan shoes that I've owned and worn and they're versatile. I probably wear them more often with jeans or khakis, but sometimes throwing them on with a pair of trousers and a blue blazer gives my entire kind of like American university Ivy aesthetic a very, you know, rough kind of feeling. Um, and I love it. They retail at $725, which is a lot of money. And I'm not sure if they are the best shoe in their class. I know there's quite a bit of competition in that space, but I'll tell you this. I am extremely happy with them. Not only do I get constant compliments on the street on these super shiny Cordovan shoes, but every time I look down, I smile. That's it. Thank you so much for having me, John. And everyone else, check out Theo Harris. Hey guys, it's Gabriel from The Mensch. And if you follow me on Instagram, you know that my favorite pair of boots by far for all year round is the Red Wing Iron Rangers, 8111s in amber harness leather. Okay, so the reason I love the leather so much is it's so thick and even though it's unlined, it's gonna keep you warm in the winter. It's made in the SB foot tannery, which is owned by Red Wing Shoes. So it's just an amazing uh, experience to break these guys in. It takes a long time. There's gonna be some blood involved, but it's definitely worth it. It's Goodyear welted, so it's gonna keep out the water and the ice and the snow. 
um, but it's also resolable, so you can really beat them up. You can see I'm not worried about keeping caps on these. I'm not worried about shaving down the sole at all. It's got a cap toe, which adds a little bit of insulation. Not a huge uh, point, but still worth noting. And I think first and foremost is that they're very stylish and they go with a lot of different looks, jeans, chinos, whatever you're gonna be wearing in a business casual setting to a very rugged setting. These are the real deal. You can wear these in a work, real work environment, but you can also bring these to the office, and that is why these are my favorite boots. Um, they're a 320 retail price, but I paid 180 for them at a Brooks Brothers sale. You can keep your eyes open, get factory seconds at Nordstrom Rack for a little cheaper, but definitely, definitely worth the price and supporting a made in the USA company uh, 100%. What's up guys, it's Koi from Gentleman Within, and first off, I wanna thank John from The Cavalier for inviting me to be a part of this winter boot roundup. So what's my current number one boot pick for this winter? Of course I rock my Daltons, Thursdays, Thoroughgoods, and Wolverines all the time, but for those heavy snow days, I always rely on my Sorel Cheyenne duck boots to get me through. They're weatherproof, provide great traction, and keep your feet warm and comfortable throughout the day. Plus, they've got a full grain leather upper. And sure, they may not get the style points, but when it comes to function, these boots are my winter go-to. All right, fellas, that's all I got. Cheers to your style. What's going on everybody? Teddy Baldassar here and a big thanks to John for letting me come on the channel again. So I have a YouTube channel talking all about watches. So if you wanna learn more about watches, really the whole goal of the channel is to foster up a new generation of watch enthusiasts. Definitely go over there, give it a look and subscribe if you're interested. And for my choice here today, I wanted to pick a boot that I've worn for the last two years. I think they fall at a very reasonable price point for what you're getting. And those are my Johnson & Murphy Brogue Cap Toe Boots. These shoes come in at $130, come with full grain leather and have some great rubber outsoles. So why I love these things, I have a really business casual, the casual look, and I think these are fantastic when being able to dress up, dress down. But I think the biggest reason why I enjoy these are the rubber outsoles on the bottom of these shoes. As someone who has to interact with salt from the snow plows on the sidewalk and as somebody who has basically just made it an annual event for me to just slip and embarrass myself in front of people uh, on the ice that will be on the sidewalks these are a great way to counteract that and has really helped in that regard so John thank you so much for letting me come on I will certainly love to see any comments down below and definitely check out my channel if you're interested hey this is Eric from Huga and this is the Red Wing 875 my winter boot of choice The six inch boot starts with full grain oil tan leather from Red Wing Zone SB Foot Tannery. The leather is thick and supple but will require some time to mold to your foot. After break in, the leather and traction tread outsole will provide lasting comfort on and off the job. The boot is made to last with triple stitch construction and a recraftable Goodyear welt. The Red Wing 875 is a winter essential that if cared for properly will last you for many seasons to come. I appreciate John for having me on the Cavalier. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. So on my personal Christmas list, this was the best thing I could have asked for. So thank you to all those guys for sending in videos. My selection, I couldn't go with just one. And so I chose my Red Wing Mock Toe boot and also my Great Trento sneaker boot that I unboxed a few months ago. The Red Wing boot is the 8138 in this dark brown colorway. This is the fifth year I've owned these shoes and I think they look better with age all the time. As Hugo mentioned, all the benefits of this is the Goodyear welt, the high quality leather, and for me it's that rugged look but can also be dressed down. This looks so good with denim, but it can also be worn out if you are on a job. I look forward to breaking these boots out every fall and winter and then they become a staple in my rotation and they do Take some time to break in, but now that they've broken in for me, they feel like slippers. And next, my sneaker boot on the other end of the spectrum. This boot that comes in at only $119, it was actually listed for $95 when I was doing this video. It's a unique boot in my collection, and the very first time that I wore this boot, I hiked through the Hollywood Hills and I walked 10 miles in them. And so from the day that I put these on my feet, the Vibram soles have kept me very comfortable. I think the suede upper with the white bottom is very unique. They also have a, an olive colorway that I really like. But the big thing with this is that they're made to be like an urban outdoor boot. While they also have tread, they're built to be completely waterproof. And I can say that after wearing these for a few months and jumping in several puddles, 
for science, they absolutely keep your feet completely dry. As far as warmth, you pair these with some nice thicker socks and you're in for a treat this fall and winter. Pun intended, but these are a great boot that walk the line between that rakish style, but also being pretty stylish. Depending on your office environment, these can be worn business casual or just completely casual. And so those are my two boots for winter. Thank you to all the guys for contributing to the boot collection video. I love seeing each of the boot selections, but also the various mix of presentation styles between each of them. So thank what makes YouTube great in this space. So thank you everybody for watching. Let me know your favorite boots below. You can also let me know some of the topics I can tackle in this collaboration format, because this was pretty fun. So until next time, gents, this is The Cavalier. Mm -hmm.